Hello friends, so in this video I'll be walking through on how to actually navigate the user once they have already logged in. So basically let's say you have already filled up your details inside your, your login form which is email and password and right now right now we are able only able to receive the token that's coming from Superbase. How are we able to navigate the user once they have already received that particular authentication token from Superbase itself. So that's what I'll be walking you through. So first of all, let's go back to our login.jsx code. And in this particular login.jsx code, I would like to make sure that upon whenever when user clicks on login button, which is they must be, let's say if they have successfully received the token, only once they have received that token, they must be navigating to to the appropriate page so that particular page will be called homepage.jsx so let's create homepage.jsx first so i would like to open my folder i have to go to my source and inside inside pages i'll have to create another new file called homepage.jsx click enter and inside our homepage.jsx i have to create an empty functional components like this and the next thing is that let's head back to our login.jsx and as you can see here, this is the part where whenever when you click on submit, this is the one that we'll be receiving. This is what makes us to sign in. And only when this particular request is successfully has been made, and then we are able to console the data like this. So this, this data is basically your token that you will be receiving. So only when we are able to receive the token, we are able to navigate the user to the homepage.jsx. So how are we able to do that? But but before that, let's make let's go to our app.jsx and let's make the route for homepage also. So in this case, I'll have to go to my app.jsx. I'll have to create another new route. In this case, I'll have to create I'll have to copy this the, the template here. Like just copy below. And in this case, I'll have to, I'll have to say homepage like this. So homepage. And this particular element will be it's coming from homepage something. Else. And then whenever when you click on this, you'll be automatically having this homepage coming directly from pages. And which we, which is what we don't want it to be like this. So that's why we need importing inside pages folder. For example, let's go to our index.jsx and we need to be importing home page as well. So that's right below here. I like to replace this sign up with home page, something like this, and copy home page. And if you just need to export it as well. And once it, is, it has been exported, let's go to app.jsx and all you have to do just need to be replacing right after this login page here. You can just put home page and then we won't be needing this. Okay. So this is how we are able to call home okay right now we have already set the route to go to home page as you can see here this particular route is where will will be the one that we're going to be using in our login.jsx let's go back to login.jsx and in our login.jsx i would like to use a new function called navigate and it's, it's going to be a function navigate function and inside here we'll be having a the path itself for example let's say if i put a path like this home page like this so as you can see here this is how you're able to call i mean navigate by the way so navigate home page we need to declare this particular function called navigate because it's coming directly from react router dom so let's go to the top here and we need to be importing navigate for example let's go here and in this case i have to call use navigate so as you can see here use navigate is one of the pre-built function inside react router dom let's click here use navigate and use navigate needs to be initialized also because use navigate is actually a function so we need to be making declare a constant called navigate so that we are able to do that so navigate like this and equals to use navigate function okay this is how we are able to call na use navigate function which is coming directly from react router dom like this and there you go right now we are able to make use of navigate uh, function which is here and then we are able to directly make it like this and there you go right now let's click save and let's check the browser and in our browser let, i'll have to fill up my credentials like i've did it before password is going to be one to six check it and there you go let's click submit and there you go right now you're able to go to home page upon clicking on submit and at the same time you have to be logged in you must be able to receive that particular token that's coming directly from superbase but the problem is anyone can actually access your home page that's the that's the ultimate problem that you're going to be solving right now but before that let's check our our console and in our console here what we like to do is that as you can see here we are able to receive this session token and this particular token will be used to actually make to fetch the data of the user that has been logged in and in this case we we are going to make use of session storage so session storage is basically we are going to be storing the data that's coming from your 
request here and we will be storing inside your browser's temporary browser's database. So that's what session storage even means. So first of all, I would like to go back to my code and I will go to my app.jsx and in my app.jsx, I would like to create a new state called token. For example, let's I'll have to go to here and in this case, I'll have to declare a new state called token and we're going to be making the set token also as a function to set the value of token and I'd like to use a use state as well because use state is what we're going to be making use of course use state uh, and let's make sure that we have already imported use state at the top here let's initialize the value of token to be false but as you can see here let's say let's say we make the false and right now what we're able to see here is that right now we're going to be storing the token that's coming from Superbase into this particular state called token so that's what i have actually made it here until your token is not been received from superbase you will be not be having token to become false so that's what it really means and the next thing is that i would like to pass this set token function here to my login here so that we are able to receive that particular console and then i would like to make equal equals to that particular request that i re that we receive from superbase so i would like to place it here which is set token be equals to set token yeah so i'm just passing the state function as it is so i like to I like to copy this i like to copy this whole thing and i like to go to my login page as well and inside my login page i like to place that particular set token parameter here as well so that i'll be able to use set token in login as well so i like to go to the particular uh, just now we just made which is navigate here and right before we navigate to home page we must be able to set that particular token like this for example yeah we won't be needing uh, the curly braces but we will be needing the functions bracket something like this and inside the set token is where we will be placing the data like this so this is way in this way we're able to equate token a particular state called token equals to data coming from superbase quest so that's what it really means so now let's head back to our app.jsx again so next thing is that as I mentioned earlier, I have told you that we will be storing our token inside session storage. So that's what we'll be doing right now. So in this case, only if state of a token that has changed to true, we should be able to set this particular to item called token inside my session storage. So I have to call session storage, session storage dot set item so that we are able to set a particular item inside our storage. And this I'll have to name that particular session storage to be called as token. And that way we are able to uniquely identify what it, what is actually it is and followed by we're going we're gonna to be making sure that we place this particular token that's coming from from the state here but then usually uh, we need to make sure that we destructure the format of the data that's being saved inside our set item so that we are able to place it properly so that we're going to be using json dot stringify and inside here we'll be placing token by the way and this way we are able to make this format of this particular token to be readable and whenever when we place session storage, we'll be using use effect to make sure that we always uh, listen for changes that has happened. So in this case, I have to call this use effect snippet and I have to remove all the other unneeded template here and then it's going to be blank here as well. And of course, let's say in this use effect is where we'll be listening for this particular set item. And of course, let's go to effect and let's say if it's, and, and we're going to be making sure only when we list, only when this, the session storage is actually called token, for example, like this. And then we're able to make use of this otherwise we won't be needing it as well something like this and there you go right now inside here where we'll be able to fetch that particular data that's being saved we're gonna put let data equals to json we're gonna be destructuring again from what we have saved so in this case i'll say json.parse and i have to, I have to call the session storage that's coming from from the token here so i have to just take everything like this so right from here and i have to paste it inside here and there you go right now you're able to receive this particular session storage item called data and you're going to be placing inside this particular data here and of course let's make this particular set we're going to be making set token which is coming from here and we're going to be placing this particular value called data inside here and then now right now you're able to globally initialize this particular state called token and then you're able to make it globally accessible and right now what we have just did it like use effects meant for like, let's say if i want to refresh the page and then you won't be losing your data of your of the request that you have received from superbase.com so that's the reason why it is really important to make use of use effect so that you're able to not to lose your data as a user so that you will be always be authenticated unless if you logged out 
and that's the reason why we have used use effect in this case and uh, let's click save everything we, we also going to make sure that there is going to be a, a condition that only when the user is actually logged in or has received that particular token from the super base he or she only must be able to access this home page only when he has signed in so that's what i'll be doing right now so i'll have to say if i'm going to be having a javascript expression like this and in this case i have to say only if if token and i have to say i have to place this thing inside here only when token is true and then this particular home page is actually accessible and that's the reason why we are able to make use of this by the way and when this is not true we're going to be we're not going to be doing anything we're just going to be making like this something like this and there you go right now we have just deleted something like this and let's click save and let's head back to our browser and in our browser here as you can see there are a bunch of errors here so for example let's say we need to make sure that use effect is not defined small mistake let's go back here and we're just going to be making sure that we import it properly put it here use effect click save let's head back and there you go no error by the way and the reason why you don't have anything in your home page is that as you can see here we have only made this particular condition to be true only when token you have something to be placed in your token so we need to be making sure that we go back to our login page and in our login page we must be able to log in as a user and there you go right now we have already happened to have a token that's coming from superbase.com and then also as you can see here let's say if i were to refresh the page and there you go right now you still happen to have your home page here Although you don't have your console here, you are actually being saved inside your session storage here. As you can see here, inside session storage, we are able to have a key called token. And only when this token is true, we are able to see this particular home page. And let's say, just let's say if I were to remove this token, for example, I have to remove this. And I have to click refresh. And there you go. You don't able to access your home page. The reason why is because you don't have anything to be called as authentication in your browser so that's the reason that's the basic idea of how are we able to make use of login so the last but not the least I would like to make sure let me let me go to my login first login page and I would like to make sure that whenever when I submit I must be welcomed with my name by the way so let's say if I were to click on submit and I have to go go to this particular token here as you can see here we are able to receive a particular data coming from us for example uh, we happen to receive our name our email here and as well as we are also able to receive our our full name here as well as you can see here my name is here so i would like to receive this particular fetch this particular name and i have to place it right after here which says welcome tilak so that's what i would like to do right now so i like to go back to my code and as you can see here this particular token is actually coming from here and then we also must be passing this particular token here to, to our home page so in this case i have to say token must be equals to token so that we are able to receive it inside our home page and we're going to be copying this particular part of the code and we're going to home page and in our home page we'll be pasting our token parameter like this i have to edit this particular code here as you can see here this instead of home page i have to say welcome back followed by my name here in order to access particular person's full name you must be able to see how the api is being formatted so let's head back to our browser and as you can see here as you can see we are able to access it by going to user so token dot user dot user metadata here dot full name so this is how you're going to be making use of our we are going to be calling our name let's go back to our code and inside our code here we're going to be saying token dot user dot user metadata dot full name something like this so that's how we are able to call my name so let's click save let's head back to our browser and there you go right now we are able to make my name display in this way and that's the basic idea of how are we able to make use of tokens that are coming from superbase.com and then we are able to lock that particular user into your platform and you're able to fetch that particular user's ID and with that ID we are able to control all of that particular person's account and that's the basic idea of how to make someone log in into their account and that's the end of this particular part of the video thanks for watching and